Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. So Sierra did an interview where she talked about the reason that her and Future broke up. She said that it's almost like your taste buds change. So she said, when you know you're supposed to make a super defined decision in your life, you know it from the head to your feet, from your feet to your head and your soul and your body. It's almost like your taste buds change, she said. You have a taste bud for a certain kind of thing and that taste buds just go. And she also talked about how after becoming a mother, she wanted to make sure that she's nothing short of joy and to make sure her cup is full. I always say, don't let nobody waste your time. I don't care if it's friendship or relationships, business, whatever it is, don't let it waste your time. It's not worth it. So in conclusion, just like a lot of females at the end of a relationship, Sierra is putting all the blame on not herself for picking future, a guy who was well known for already having multiple baby mamas, multiple kids by different women. Instead of taking the blame and accountability, she's putting all the blame on future. Now, I'm sure you guys are wondering, what does this have to do with her missing future? Remember, she said, you have a taste bud for a certain kind of thing, and then that taste buds just go. Don't forget, Sierra has been with Bow Wow, she's been with 50 Cent, she's been with Amari Sotomayor. All of these guys are polar opposites to Russell Wilson. Remember, in one of Sierra's songs, Can't Leave Him Alone, featuring 50 Cent, she said, I can't leave him alone. I tried that good boy game, but the dope boy's turning me on. Clearly, she is missing future. A happily married woman should not still be talking about their ex like this. She's been quiet all this time, but all of a sudden she want to do interviews about future. It's because Russell Wilson, although he's a nice guy, a good father, deep down he doesn't scratch that itch that she has that needs scratching. She can't leave him alone. She tried that good boy game, but the dope boy is turning her on. Guys like Russell Wilson, for a woman like Sierra, Sure, they'll be a good dad, a good provider, but they don't make them tingle the way a guy like Future does. A happily married woman should not, should not be talking about their ex. All Russell Wilson was, he was the man that was there to clean up the situation, to save her from being a single mom, and to marry her. Yeah, Russell Wilson got the money, and more money than Future. Yeah, he's an NFL player, and at one point in time was considered one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Yeah, he got some fame. Yeah, he got some power, but money can't buy everything. Money cannot make Russell Wilson give Sierra the same tingles that Doughboys like Future do. Money cannot make Russell Wilson scratch that itch that Sierra has. Y'all know what I'm talking about. How many times have you seen a female, maybe a sibling, a friend, a co-worker? You look at the guy that she gets with, but you can't help but ask, what in the world did she see in him? How did he pull her when all the red flags were in her face? A guy like Future, everybody knows it's not a secret. He has multiple baby mamas and multiple kids. He's known for rapping about drugs, Molly, and Percocets. Yet Sierra gladly signed up to become baby mama number 20. At least the other baby mamas aren't as famous and aren't as wealthy as Sierra. In that case, we could give them a pass. Maybe they're trying to get a bag. Sierra, on the other hand, she was already established. She had a decent music career. She had more money than the other baby mamas. So why knowingly sign up to join the tribe? Well, it's because a guy like Future, this is the type of guy that she truly wants. A hood dude. A dope boy. Those are the type of guys that turn her on. Russell Wilson is just the clean up guy. Yeah, he got more money, but he clearly does not give her the tingles like Future does. She wants that old thing back. Mr. Future never left her mind. Maybe it's because Russell Wilson has now became a laughing stock at the quarterback position since joining the Denver Broncos. He's not talked about as much anymore, except for getting clowned on sports shows. My problem is Sierra and women like her, they always think that they are some type of victim for choosing a certain type of man who they know damn well is no good and that they should have never entertained in the first place. Everyone around them can tell that the guy is no good, but they still sign up. Future already had multiple children by different women, and she thought it was a good idea to be a part of the tribe. Now you want to 
play victim, talk about, oh, don't let nobody waste your time. I don't care if it's friendship or relationships or business, whatever it is. And she went through a shot at future, talking about, oh, you have a taste bud for a certain kind of thing. And then that taste bud just goes. For a woman like Sierra, you can't be mad at future. He never lied to you. This is who he is. He didn't pretend like he didn't have all these kids by all these different women. But you still found guys like Future attractive. You still decided to t entertain those guys. You still decided to have a kid with those guys. But now you're mad. You want to play victim. And the crazy part about this, Sierra, she got lucky. Very few women will have an opportunity to come across a guy like Russell Wilson. Who will gladly sign up and become a stepdad. Especially a guy... Like Russell Wilson, who's a superstar quarterback, at least he was at one point, has made over hundreds of millions of dollars. Even if they're not Russell Wilson, but just a guy who's on top of his game, who has a lot of things that he brings to the table. Very few women will get a chance to get wifed up by a guy like that. Especially when he finds out that she actually gladly, knowingly signed up to become a baby mama to a guy like Future, who clearly had multiple kids by multiple different women clearly she has his poor judgment she doesn't know how to choose a good guy and for russell wilson and guys like him listen whether it's your wife your girlfriend if your current significant other still brings up their ex whether in a good manner or a bad manner whether they're saying positive or negative things about them and it's been years that is a sign that that particular X is still on their mind especially when it comes to women you know women are more emotional than men that guy is still on their mind even if they talking bad about him how he's no good how he's this how he's that how he's not there for the kids if he picks up the phone and says baby i'm sorry i want to change my ways she'll either drop you and go be with him or she'll at least have him on the side and entertain him on the side just to get that old thing back to get those tingles Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.